When you hear the word refugee, we all make our own assumptions. Sometimes we let our ignorance form an opinion for us. Because unless it's getting a trim for a motive on Friday, we were never really taught to prioritise what happens across borders. It's funny how in such a connected world it's easy to become so cordless. We're content to let the media inform us on how we should view other diasporas. With social media so influential on how we see the world, it's no coincidence that we become accustomed to some kind of filter influencing how we see others. I had a Skype call with a brother who'd lived in a refugee camp since he was four. As I was sitting in a refugee camp, I didn't know how the world outside the mine looks like. Opportunities was in a shadow. Couldn't see where my life is heading. But build the house was the toy I ever touched. He learned to build his own house at a time I was still arranging Lego bricks. He arrived in America at the age of 20 and he learned to speak English. He speaks four different languages. And the whole conversation, the one he was most fluent in, was smiling. He wasn't lazy, uneducated. He didn't come to take our jobs or get rich. All he wanted was an opportunity. All he came for was an opportunity. An opportunity not to be judged for the conditions he had no control over. An opportunity not to take anyone's life, but to create his own. Who owns this world anyway? We put up barriers and create small booklets, which we then use to convince ourselves that we have the right to deny others the good fortune some of us were lucky enough to inherit, or the one we gained by merit. But the right to be treated like a fellow human being? That's all they ask for. Is that too much? <laughs>